would like to uh, not only you know win a game, an important game, but a game on senior night with friends, family, everybody there. What were the emotions of this night like for you guys? We'll get each of you to answer that. That would be good. Um, obviously, it was high on emotion, you know, um, being our senior, it's our uh, senior night. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we had a job to do, um, get the win here, finish out the season strong, um, leading into the Big East. And, um, you know, that's, that's where our mind was. Yeah, it was a, a high emotional night. Um, but we knew you had to come out here and play hard. And that was it right there. For both of you, how much level of satisfaction is there? How far you guys have come, considering what happened in the non-conference and where you finished fourth place? Um, if I ask a tough question, just because like obviously we are proud of uh, you know what we accomplished, but at the end of the day, um, you know we got we got bigger goals. Um, now it's just uh, time taking one step at a time, one day at a time, one game at a time, um, and you know look to uh, you know finish what we started. Um, obviously, we got goals to win the, you know, the Big East and you know, compete for a national championship, and that's where our minds are at. Um, just taking a day at a time now. Dre, Sean talks about having multiple playmakers in the backcourt. Al goes for nine assists tonight on a night where Dari may not have had his best. How important was it for Al to get you guys going? You know, it's huge. Um, and as a team, you know, we got a ton of playmakers. And any night, um, as you can see, like, it could be anybody that steps in that role to be a playmaker. And, uh, you know, Al shows this versatility that he can affect the game in multiple ways, and you see it tonight with the nine assists. So, Greg, you had a career high 28 points tonight. Do that on senior night in front of family, in front of the crowd there. What does that mean to you? Um, I mean, it felt good, but I mean, at the end of the day, it was just um, more focused on getting the job done, getting the win, um, and now getting prepared for the Big East tournament. Dre, what was it like to see Dylan get going like that? How important is that? Uh, it's huge, you know, especially now we uh going into the Big East tournament. Uh, you know, now you got to play your best basketball. And it's, it's good to see, you know, him knock down shots like we know he can, like we know he will in the future. Um, this is the type of player he's been throughout his entire career, and this is what we expect from him. Also, Dre, how did you guys do it? How did you turn the season around? Here? I think it was just belief in ourselves. You know, uh, we've been saying this since the beginning of the year. Don't worry about the post. Don't worry about what everybody else is saying in the media. We're just going to take it a day at a time. Continue to believe in us, believe in uh, what we can do, our capabilities, continue to trust y'all, um, take it a day at a time. What can you say about uh, what Jaheen Holloway has done and the role he's played in getting you guys to play this level? Uh, one of the best coaches I ever played for. Um, you know, I, I played for uh, some good coaches in my college time. Um, you know, this is why I came here. You know, I truly believed in um, what, he, what his vision for this program, for this team. Um, you know, so I came back, um, and we seem to come to fruition now. Dylan, could you, could you answer that question about Jaheen and what he's done to get this out of this group? Uh, it starts with him. He's never satisfied. And day in and day out, through practice, through games, he pushes us. So his level of intensity, we got to match it. And that's our leader. So, yeah. JD? Dylan. Uh, just another game. Uh, you got to come to practice on Monday and just uh, focus in, take it a day at a time. That's it. Prepare and just get ready for a biggest tournament. Matt? It's kind of a follow up to uh, Jerry's question about the beginning compared to now. Still more to go. You talked about trust to Dre, but on the court and what you guys did playing the game, what's the biggest difference from 10 games in to now 20 games? Um, I think it's just the experience of, you know, actually being out there on the court, getting the experience, um, you know, with the team, the familiarity, the comfortability with each other and trusting each other on the court. And, um, you know, just understanding who we are as a team. Um, you know, we understand that any night we come in and we shut down the defense end that we can, we feel like we could be any team in the country. So um, we know that's our identity, um, along with just the grittiness and the intensity each and every night. And uh, I think that took us uh, far throughout the, this, the course of the season. Time for a few more here in the front. With the Big East tournament rapidly approaching, and you guys are coming off two big wins, you know, um, what type of momentum do you believe you guys are going in there with uh, against St. John's? 
I think we got a lot of momentum. Uh, I think I can, uh, keep preaching, just taking a day at a time, focusing on uh, you know our preparation, getting ready for that game. Um, you know, each day just getting better, um, being the best we can be on that night. Dylan, for you personally, uh, the shot hadn't been falling for, for several games. What is it like the last couple of the games to see that ball go through the hoop? And you know, what have you done to get to this point? Um, I give props to my teammates. Um, I've been in the gym, but they never stopped, told me to stop shooting, and they keep encouraging me to continue to shoot. Coach Shaw, the coaching staff, keep shooting the ball. You're a great shooter. And I feel like with that comes uh, the belief and the trust that they have in me and my capabilities. So just keep working at it. Dylan, uh, what's it like to see Dre play at this high level consistently for the rest of you guys? And, and, uh, how did he get so much better? I don't think it's how did he get – he's been there. He's been there. Dre's been this caliber player, and he continues to put the work in, and he's never satisfied. He's one of the hardworking kids that I know. Thank you. Uh, Dre? Yeah. So, uh, tell a little presentation to make as we do at the end of each regular season. Uh, J.P. Pelsman, as many of you know, covered Seton Hall basketball with distinction for 20 years for the Bergen record and for rivals. He died in, in 2022, a friend, a mentor to many of us. Uh, in his honor, we present a, uh, an engraved pen at the end of each season, the J.P. Pelsman Media Award, the player that does, fulfills the most media obligations, does the most with us, and the best with us all season. And this year, that recipient, I'm happy to say, is Dre Davis. Thanks a lot. Well done. See you at the Big East tournament.